Hey guys, um, so I have a little bit of a haul for you as you just saw. It's been a while since I've made any type of video. I have no excuse other than I'm just kind of, I've been in a funk lately, but I have been reading still and I might do an update on what I've been reading and other projects I've been doing. But other than that, this is just a haul for the end of April and this month of May. So I have a pretty long haul for you. Um, this is in no particular order, just, you know, I'm going to go off random because I have a lot here and we might be a while. But the first book that I got is These Broken Stars. I'm sorry, I know I have bad lighting. I'm trying to um, see, you know, where, what's a better angle for me. Um, but yeah, this is the first book I got, which is These Broken Stars, and the cover is just gorgeous, and it is a sci-fi, uh, novel. So, put that over there. I also got the selection by Kara Cass. Oh, and These Broken Stars are by, or is by, uh... Annie Kaufman and Megan Spooner. And yeah, like I said, this is by Kara Cass. And um, this is about a girl. Um, the opportunity to be swept up in a world of glittering gowns and priceless jewels. To live in a place and compete for a heart of a gorgeous prince, Maxon. But for America's singer, being selected is a nightmare. It means turning her back on her secret love with Aspen who is a cast below her and leaving her home to enter a fierce competition for a crown she doesn't want. Um, so this is modern based and it's kind of like a, a dystopian type book. But yeah, the selection by Karen by Cass, which I already said. And the next book I got is um, Everland by Wendy Spinal. Spinal. Um, I just love this cover, by the way, and this spine is really pretty. I'm so sorry that my letters are mixed up. I'm trying to figure out this whole new webcam thing that I got, um, but the wings are just beautiful, and I love, love Peter Pan. I just, I've read Peter Pan probably like four or five times in my life. And I love retelling, so this is right up my alley. And it's a short book, and ooh, I love it when the edges are deckled like that. And this is really pretty. The next book we have is um, Rebel of the Sands by Alwyn Hamilton. I'm so sorry if I butcher some of these names. But yeah, we have this beautiful cover right here. And it's just, uh, it's really pretty. And this is what, uh, I always like to see what the, what it looks like in the dust jacket off. It's just a simple, pretty blue color. That's what the spine looks like. Yeah, really, really nice. Oh, put it in there. The next book I got, um, I've heard a lot about, and it's pretty new. It's called The Glittering Court. It just came out last year. Beautiful cover. I love the spine. And um, this is by Rochelle Mead. And I've never read any of her. Didn't, I think she wrote the Vampire Academy books. Um, please correct me if I'm wrong, or don't quote me on that. But this is what the cover looks like without the dust jacket, and it just has some pretty silver letterings. I'm going to have to find a better place to put my books. The next book I have is The Darkest Part of the Forest by Holly Black, and I've read some of Holly Black stuff before. Um, she mostly writes about Faye, and I think this is 
about Faye as well. The back looks really interesting though. Children can have a cruel, absolute sense of justice. Children can kill monsters and feel quite proud of themselves. A girl can look at her brother and believe they're destined to be a knight and a bard who battle evil, who might someday find and fight even the monster at the heart of the forest. So that looks interesting. I'm really excited to read that. And it's just your simple black cover. But yeah, I've like I said, I've read Holly Black before. I wasn't really interested in her other books. I forget what they were called. Um, but they were okay. The next book I've been wanting to get for a while now. I'm sorry for the glare of my glasses, guys. Um, and that's Ruby Red. And just look at that cover. That is so gorgeous. I just love the red. Um, and this is, I think, kind of like in diary format. I'm not sure, but I'm really just interested to read this. I think this is about time travel. She wasn't expecting to travel through time or to lose her heart. So yeah, this is about time travel. I'm going to take this off. Oh my gosh, I'm forgetting how gorgeous it looks without the dust jacket. And it's just really pretty red. Look at the... Like I said, you can't even read the words probably, but... Um, that is this book. Really excited to read this. I'm oh, sorry for the awkwardness. This book, so this was a, um, like, just a total, like, random find. I was looking at Barnes & Noble, um, looking around Barnes & Noble, and, um, this just totally caught my eye. And I was like, oh my gosh, I should pick that up. It's, um, small, it has big words in the pages. It's not, like, an actual novel novel. It's just, I think, supposed to be fan fiction you know, wrapped into a novel or something, but I am a once I watch Once Upon a Time religiously, uh, even though I have a love and hate relationship with Once Upon a Time, but yeah, I found this book, and it's Once Upon a Time, Red's Untold Story by Wendy Tolliver, and I just love that cover, it's so gorgeous, and the edges are the edges of the page is black, which I love. And when you take the dust jacket off, I will show you. Okay. Yeah, you stay there. It looks so pretty without the dust jacket. And the spine gold letters for once upon a time and that even kind of like shimmers the once once upon a time um yeah but i watched that show i some things that have been going on in the show are a little bit like whatever but as long as lana paria is still there i'm there so this is like the only person I watch it for because I love Regina. She's my favorite character and Henry too. I like Henry. So if Henry and Regina are still involved, then I'm still involved. Let me just put some books up here. So this next um, haul someone actually gave to me and I thought it was really nice because nobody really gives me books because I buy my own books. Um, but it is nice when someone actually, like, thinks of me and says, Oh, I thought you might like this book. Um, and that is the Jim and Doyle trilogy. I think that's what it's called. A Great and Terrible Beauty. A Sweet Far Thing. Yeah, the Rebel Angels uh, trilogy is what it's called. And I love this cover, by the way. I think this is my favorite cover. This one's in hardback. Someone gave me this series, so it's already like used and lived on, but I just thought it was so sweet that someone actually thought of me, like, hey, you know, you like to read, and I thought, like, this book is massive. This is what it looks like. 
This book is huge. I don't know when I'm going to read them. I'll probably read them after I finish um, my Throne of Glass series because I'm on the Queen of Shadows and I want to get that done before I think the Empire of Storm comes out, which I'm really excited about. Um, but yeah, this is my oof, um, Rebel Angels trilogy. Um, let me just set that there. There are books everywhere. Um, so the next stack of books I got, I'm pretty excited about. Um, An Ember in the Ashes by Saba Tahir. I'm not even going to try to pronounce that. But this is what that looks like. And without the dust jacket, it's black. Yep, it's black. But there's gold letterings for it. I'm trying to... This video is just all over the place today. But I wanted to get a video in because... I haven't been keeping my word with myself to keep up on my YouTube. Next one I've heard so many great things about. Um, I'm not exactly sure what it's about really, but I just love the cover. This is kind of a cover by, I'm not going to lie, Sex of Crows by Leah Bardugo. And you have the black edge. I wish all books were like this with the black edge. I mean, that's just it's gorgeous, and the inside of it is what this looks like, and I don't know if you can see, but there is a little tiny, like, crow on there, and the lettering looks like this. Okay. Just so gorgeous. Gorgeous book. Like I said, this is kind of a cover by um, book. But am I ashamed? No, not really. Next two books I've been hearing mixed reviews on. Some people like the last book of it that just came out, some people don't. So I'm kind of holding off until I fit, finish her other books. But I caved and got um, Court of Thorns and Roses by Sarah J. Moss. And I love myself a Beauty and the Beast retelling. Um, and her writing just always like blows my mind. So I know I'm going to like this book. This is what the cover looks like. And then this one. This is an awkward... Holmes. <laughs> um, yeah, I got this one, and of course this book just came out like recently, and it's massive, and I don't know when I'm going to read it, but Cor A Court of Mist and Fury. So this book is massive, I don't know when I'm going to finish it, I mean, it, that is a big chunk. Let me see. I'm going to do a compare of, see this book is short and this book is tall, but I look at these books, they're heavy. But yeah, that is all of the books that I have for you guys. Um, I've also been caught up in the um, whole color book craze that's been going on. I'm sorry about my hair. I just couldn't be bothered with it today. But um, I have been into the whole um, coloring book craze that's been going on and I do have some finished projects from that. Maybe I'll show you guys a little bit later in a different video. And um, Maybe some coloring books as well if you guys want to see that. But I have been reading, so I haven't really been in a reading slump per se. I've just been kind of like savoring the Queen of Shadows because I want to read it right now, but then I don't want to have to wait a few months for um, the Emperor of, um, I forget what it's called, it just the cover of it just came out like a few days ago, I think, or a week ago. 
I'm so excited. The cover is gorgeous. But anyway, um, yeah, that is my little book haul or big book haul for you guys. If you want to see more, um, please rate, comment, and subscribe or like, comment. There is no rate. Why do I keep saying rate? There is no rate. There is a like. Rate was like the longest time ago in the old YouTube days. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I'm just going to go before I make a total idiot of myself even further. I will see you guys in the next video.